Alright. There we are. Starting a little bit earlier than normal, but it's only three minutes. Not that bad. Alright, let's try to get a handle on the situation. First things first, uh, I think we can set these guys up as a defensive border now here. Ready! Why do these guys not have any equipment? What the hell's happening? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, are we? No, we're being supplied. So how the hell do I have infantry that has like literally no equipment at all? Did I recently swap these? I know I designed my Mountaineer divisions. I actually haven't designed them yet, but... Let's do that while we're at it, because they're not going to be any use as... Uh... Um... What they are right now anyway, so... Uh, it's probably, by the way, cheaper to do this. Uh, duplicate. And swap out the... Infantry for... The uh, Marines for... Mountaineers. And then we call them... Just that. Mountaineer... Jesus. Hitting all the keys. Save. Delete that one. Okay. Orders. Swap you guys to... That one. Let me check real quick. Uh, Mountaineers. There we go. Should it, yeah, more than enough equipment. Now these guys are not, for now, the only ones holding, but there's a lot of other crap just coming in right now, so I think we'll be fine. I think you guys really should stop attacking, because what the hell, you don't have any equipment to be attacked with to begin with. So stop that, will you? Please. Um, we want three, seven of them to fill the losses that we've made. And I guess for now, we just want to hold. I think we can do with one tank here, and we were working on... Seeing if we can make a breakthrough here, which I do not see Order. happening anymore. So I think the smart thing to do would be to delete this line for now. And take these guys in like this. In the meantime, we will... Uh, we'll let the ground basically go for, for, for now and we'll do it like that. I'm just gonna get a holding order on these lads. Attention. And uh, go through there. We'll just do a full retreat. Yes, there sir. We go. And these guys Move just out. go over there as well. All right, let's go. Let them have it. Yeah, I doubt I can bash through here. It's a couple more provinces, Listen and it up. just does not look good for me. So. I'd rather uh, get them out of here before anything else. Um, it seems like the biggest problem still is supply, which is rather annoying to be honest. Even though I am maxing out all my supply constructions up north here. Still um, not really yes, happening. Which is, the most annoying bit about it is that you cannot just, you know, start adding in more shit at the front line. Which is usually That's kind enough. of the solution. Like, you know, just add more crap on the front on. line and... Alright, we lost some more tanks because the overrun mechanic. And we'll add some more in like that. Um, Come on. Yeah, so everything kind of retreats right now and returns. I think these guys are retreating in the wrong province right now. Uh, just do a counterattack for now, just so to you know prevent the Chinese from really uh, you know wiping out all my tanks because they really should not be there. It's gonna be a while before all these tanks uh, have moved. I hold them like, constantly. They should be fine. Need to wait for these to just get the hell out of there. Alright, what I can do actually to make it a little bit easier for myself is just re extend this back up like this. This is not a bad hold, hold pattern actually. So if I just send seven of them over there, I think we'll be okay. We'll delete the line we have right now. And we'll park her right there. Might be a little bit overkill, but... Alright, then the remainder of these guys should try to spread out. 
Um, and we lost some territory here. It seems like uh, some stuff got reorganized pretty badly. I'm pretty... I hate it when it happens and you start redrawing the line. Oh, great. This is uh, perfect. Alright, what's happening now is that the AI decided to uh, reposition the entire thing. Is my phone complaining about stuff again? Well, one second, one second. Oh, that's just for a phone. Big account, alright. Come on! I we can't really do anything, it's fucking collapsed whole business. What the hell am I looking at? Like seriously, why do you all of a sudden just decide to throw an entire company down instead of up? I will never know. Yeah, the problem right now is not equipment or anything along those lines, because I think we're good on that. It's, um, I think the true problem right now literally is, um... I'm also good on fuel, we're working on that. We work on those, it's all fine. Yeah, I... Air Spear Remission Chief is yes, definitely. The problem definitely is not with equipment. Orders. It is with the sheer amount of shit terrain that we're fighting in. And a very high disregard by the enemy for... Uh, terrain, I guess. Alright, we can send some stuff over here. Maybe I can actually push through here. Probably not. Uh, looking not that too bad, actually. If I can get a support in here from some angles. There we go. Yes, sir! Go. Probably immediately are gonna see troops moving in here. No, nope, no, nope, not that bad yet. Move out. It's really annoying that this is actually uh, a province that they need to get troops Ready, in. Uh, you can stay over there, actually. Like, how is this guy not suffering, like, enormous amounts of attrition here? Well, they are suffering attrition, it's just not as bad as it should be, I guess. Or as I wanted, I guess might be even more accurate. Uh, I don't need more propaganda. If I can get some stability, that would be fine. Um, to max out our stability would be pretty great. Um, if we could... <sighs> Turkestan is... Getting actually some espionage done on them might not be a bad idea. Um, let's see if I can prepare some collaboration uh, governments. Um, we also got some China, China, and China need a rescue up here. Bye. Oh, whatever. Uh, Escape artist, this uh, woman will do. Right, uh, there we go. Need to get some more tungsten in. Nothing really much I can do. I don't think they even import any goods, really. But, oh, wait, they import quite a lot of goods. And oil, hmm. I don't have the naval range, do I? No, I don't. Shit. And they're in their own faction, which is kind of a problem if I could get them wait if I can if I get uh, ask for docking rights that should in theory except expand my rate yeah there we go um, let's start um, with um, start raiding all kinds of convoys in the uh, I think I need that one, actually. Those four C-Zones should completely cut them off, really. I really should have a commander in this. Um, they're not moving. Are they? Alright, I might need to do the following uh, to bypass the... 
range is just tell them to go over there first. Then activate their mission. So we'll put them on hold. We'll tell them to go... Let's see, what's the largest uh, Japanese port that I can find real fast? Four, six, four... Four, I guess it has uh, this one. So uh, tell them all to go to Haikido. Once that's done... We can tell them to... Uh, so... I think as they are right now, they can all go on convoy raiding. They should start spreading out among the uh, the area, and they should start hunting stuff with reckless abandon. Really, uh, if we can cut them off from you know um, large portions of the area, that would be great. Now, this guy's at eight, so if I uh, split these in half and just add them to this army, dock them in here. Well, she start moving over there, and it will help. The, it will help with the effort. Hey, Dariak! Hi. How are you doing? Hope you're doing good. I am struggling through this shit show. Trying to, uh, I don't know. Keep, uh, keep. Uh, Orders. Positive mentality, I guess, is what I'm looking for. It's God, it's still a shit show. This is not looking as bad anymore. This is not considered to the attrition that the enemy is suffering, so I think I can actually start telling the, the army to start pushing this in again. Hopefully we'll get some progress. Uh, that all turned red fast, by the way. Holy shit. Um, actually, do not push as recklessly as you're doing right now. Hmm... Yeah, so with Naval and Air Force, I'm hoping that I can win these battles. Hopefully we, uh... Like, I don't even know how much Navy they have. I never, it's not an insignificant amount, but... It's not the same that we have. Um, okay, so where are these right now? Okay, they're almost there. Let's keep an eye on that. The moment that they activate, we'll just turn them on to Galpar rating and see if we can start, you know, killing uh, some of their um, resource input. Because they can't get their, their irons from... I don't know how much naval uh, it they actually have to do. Um, what are... You know, let's, take, let's just take a look at the... Where are they getting it from? Siam. Uh, their oil. Colombia. So that's overseas. So we're actually wrecking that. That's pretty good. A uh, large portion of their steel is coming from India, which is... a. Uh, from Colombia, New Zealand, uh, Philippines, Mexico, that's all overseas. So that's actually pretty good. So we actually are sinking quite a lot of overseas shit. Uh, rubber is coming from Siam, which, you know, that's a land border. You can't block that. So we are still sort of stuck in that. Oh, God, this is looking t more and more terrible with the day. Um, I'd actually hope with the amount of fucking AI that we got around here that it should be looking a little bit better, but it doesn't. Um... Let's just deploy all of these. Attention. Seriously, I got one too little. One too few. Okay, okay, one, give me one more. Alright, I need to rethink this. Um, I think this will do. I need to just push this back in this hole. Um, right now, it's it's ridiculous. Um, and I think I can pull out my armor from there, put that on the same uh, bit right here, um, and tell them to, just to see if they can push in as well. Now, quick reminder to myself, I need to keep these like that, and the infantry can just hold. Um, and let's check the war details for a second. So we already killed 21 million fucking Chinese. Jesus Christ. They, but they have still a uh, nigh yeah, 85 million available to bleed off. Um, but we're sinking Chinese ships everywhere, so that's good. And without oil, eventually they will cripple uh, fully as well. So it is, it is what it is. It's not great, but I think we 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 will have this in the long run. Um, 
Faster construction. Uh, definitely if we can get some uh, um, aerial coverage, we can start fucking nuking them. Hopefully that will uh, do some damage as well. Because right now, um, can't really do anything with that because uh, we don't have the aerial superiority. Anywhere, really. Um, well, we have it here. Um, actually, I gotta shift some stuff around. Just gonna delete that and assign them all to uh, this one. There we go. Except for those three, of course. We gotta do the same here. Remove this. Get all of these guys assigned to here. Redraw the order. Go and go. Hopefully the tanks can make a bit of a fucking difference. It's still shitty terrain to for them to fight them, and all of it is shitty terrain, so. Here's hoping um, that we can eventually just outproduce, outkill, and outmurder the enemy. It's gonna be an interesting task for us, I guess. That. It's not really necessary right now. Air doctrines. Do we get new aircraft? Well, we're closing in on them, so I might as well start building them actually. And I'm hoping that as long as I can keep my supply lines like going pretty well, um, we can eventually just break through. It seems that the enemy is still mostly using a standard infantry based army, so me my more mechanized based army. Holy shit, we just went through everything. Okay. Um. I don't need anything. <laughs> Shit. Um, I definitely don't need to produce more stuff. That's fine. Um, well, I could always use some more military factories, I guess. And we can get some more resources out of the ground. I can use these military factories, hopefully, to up my Air Force numbers, hopefully. I guess that's the only thing I really see them used for. Other than that, I could just start building random infrastructure everywhere just to make sure that we have more than enough supply going towards the front. That's all that I can see for now as something that we can do, so... Yeah... Um, let's see, production... I have more than enough of everything, really. Um, Let's do the following. There's got some airfields around here. So we have the capacity to really do everything. And let's just select all my air wings. And I want to duplicate them. And Let's start assigning them to, uh, let's see, some jet interceptor. I think I've kind of fucked up here when you think about it. Alright, some close air support here. Um, jet interceptor there. Close air support there. Fighter wing here. Oh fuck! I think I kind of done goofed here. I I am. Um, I think I made a pretty big mistake now with how things were signed up. Hey Lugar, I am okayish again. I finally got a chance to talk to my physician directly, and that was a lot. Cost uh, you know was some good good conversation, and I'm on new medication again. Yay! It should be good. Some it should be good. See how this goes. Anyway, I fucked up my air air force a lot, so okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna piss off a lot of people by doing this, but I think I just have to redo this. I'll uh, for the people that are on YouTube, I'll uh, I'll bless you with pausing the recording. Yeah, but if you guys are actually watching me live, oh for fuck's sake! All right, well that's uh, that's also a way. Just reload the reload the stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm on uh, I'm, I'm on some new meds. Uh, not new, actually. I'm back on my old medication that we used to work. I've just a much bigger dose. Um, so hopefully in a few days. But I got that yesterday. Was it yesterday? 
What day is today? It's Wednesday. Yeah, yesterday. So I'm expecting in a few days things will improve, hopefully. We got some rad painkillers. Um, some, some pretty fucking brutal antibiotics. And um, so I'm, I might be a little bit out of it. Oh, no problem, Luger. I'm just glad you're here. Glad you joined. It's, uh, it's, it's the best you can do. Right. So actually, in about an, uh, 45 minutes, I actually need to eat something and take some painkillers. So keep that in mind. All right. Let's uh, let's be smart about this and uh, duplicate the wings as I select them. I think I just reselected the fighter wings, didn't I? Yeah, shit. Um, so that's a fighter and a jet interceptor group uh, from here. There we go. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Alright, I actually gotta reload that one. Because the fighters have cast capability, it's it's selecting them oddly. Oh, that's really annoying. <laughs> but I need them to to do aerial superiority, so. And I want my I want my air presence to be larger, so. Alright, so let's start with these guys. So Uh, you don't have your fighter wing yet, apparently. Uh, let's get... That's a little bit too much. I think I just made two more than I wanted to. Yep, let's get rid of those. And... Alright. And you, let's see. That's... Wait, you only have... No, there you go. Close air support. Alright. Um, I have four close air support wings. You should at least have them. Alright, select... Yeah, alright. Um... God, this is annoying. I actually don't think I need that much close air support. I think two close air support wings per group are fine. Uh, so I'm gonna just get two close air supports off of him. And there you go. Alright, find the close air supports. I don't want to... doesn't want to duplicate. Wait, I'm running out of close air support for craft? No, I'm not. Oh, uh, might be because I'm running out of jet close air support? No, I'm also not running out of jet close air support. Okay, who is... Are we... Oh, we're still rocking fucking generic close air. Fucking hell. So you're jet cast, but then we've also got... But these are my... Oh god, I'm getting really confused. Hey, Lucas. Been asked to one of the last to use a support team send out some mobile to the staff in the office to this some. Huh. Nice. That's pretty pretty neat. Um anyway, let's fix this problem. Wait, are these jet fighters or regular fighters? Oh god, what the hell is happening? Jesus, my brain is not working. No, these are jet fighters. This is I think this is regular close air support. Yes. This is so this is the wrong type of close air support. Let's get rid of all of that because we're not producing that close air support anymore. So that's that's the jet cast wing. So I need to duplicate that. Get one to you. And you are no longer having your fighter wings. And you do have fighter wings. So what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, you got two jet interceptors, two fighter wings. Right, and then you need... Sorry for the confusing this. Because um, I'm confusing myself. And I want two close air support wings with jets. I don't know why. 
it sometimes is counting the fighters as close air support, but that's definitely the, not the confusing bit, I guess. Okay, let's go to, down the list. Let's see, these are... Okay, so this guy just... This is regular close air support, so not the stuff that we want. I find these find some jet cast. Uh, duplicate both of them. Assign it to this guy. No, not all of them, just two of them. Get you to 400, yeah. Do it again. Assign them to you. Do it again. Assign them to you. Do it again. Um, assign them to you. Do it again. Assign them to you. All right, and then I need to check these. So you got four jet casters in here, and I right, got some regular close air support that can piss the fuck off. The same goes, I think, for these guys. Yeah, it's mostly regular close air support that I definitely don't want in these guys. So you lost all your close air support now because I probably misclicked somewhere again, for fuck's sake. Alright, so you've got one too many. Uh, I'm just gonna split this one in half. Put them both at 100, plus 200. That should put everything back on order. Yeah, whatever. This is definitely not confusing. So if I select all of it... And put them on the right flying type. There we go. <sighs> Reorganizing. Can your supply of all cast if it's... Yeah, I... It's, it's fucking crazy though. So two fighters, two jet interceptors. Yeah. What do you have for me? Two jet interceptors and one fighter wing. So I need to dupe this one. I think I'm back on the reservation now. Yes. No, wait. Fuck. You still have an old wing. I just saw a old cast wing there. There we go. So this guy is saying 400 because there's two fighter wings, but there's two cast wings as well. So that's that should be fine. Yeah. All right. So I think it's I think we're good. Let's save it because I don't really want to redo that again. I still I still don't get it. Like, hey, why do why don't prop aircraft automatically upgrade uh, into uh, jet aircraft? Like, seriously, what's the fucking purpose of not doing that? Just to spite people and, you know, having this extra aerial organization. Because it doesn't serve any purpose. It's just, just a flat-out upgrade anyway. Alright, I need to reorganize the army as I had lined up. So, you're gonna go... ...on this end. I genuinely don't know how much time we lost or didn't lose, but... Uh, ...these 22 fackers can... ...line up here. That one again, we're gonna keep, uh, let's actually get one more to sign on to here. Um, Alright, I'm gonna pre-deploy pre pre these, because it doesn't really matter much anyway. Because uh, a lot of these guys suffer so much attrition that they uh, don't fully train anyway. So might as well get them to the front, get them some early experience in. Alright, let's save again, because I really don't want to do that again. And we're, yeah, we're just the first of the month, so, you know, crash happy stuff aside. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna actually cancel your movements. For now, I really should... Too bad that India is uh, the wrong faction here. Um, how's the espionage thing looking? Alright, that's, that's fine. We're making collaboration governments. Actually, just keep up the pressure, that's fine. Just as long as you're not at full aggression, I think we'll be good. Again, some more airfields coming in, so that should really add in some nice support. Um, looks like the Byzantians are uh, finally getting, you know, their shit together as well. What are we looking at? Missing income production? Carrier fighters. Yeah, but we swapped out to carrier jets, right? Yes. And that reminded me that I, at some point, had to swap them out. Uh, probably not gonna do that, because I fucking hate shit like that, so... Um... 
That's a rocket interceptor I don't give a shit about. So let's actually just keep the uh, naval uh, jet fighters. The naval carrier fighter, regular carrier fighters. Naval carrier bomber. Carrier fighter 4. Let's just keep them in production. Um, just to prevent my brain from leaking any more than it already does. Alright, so... I'm not going to be bitching about, hey, you have out of gate equipment, but I don't really feel like um, pulling the fighters out of 14 different carriers. Alright, so these guys are doing pretty good work on the enemy's navy. What is it looking like? Alright, so they're down to 77 ships from 200 that they had. Uh, that should do a lot of damage, uh, hopefully. Um, right, that's not really... I told him it's not outdated equipment anymore. Another reason that you want to just automatically automate that upgrade system, because... I was gonna say once again, what's the fucking purpose of not automating it? Like seriously, you want me to go over, I don't know how many carriers I have, 39 carriers and tell them to replace those. Cause that sounds like a fucking piss poor <laughs> way to spend my time. Alright, anyway, we've limited the enemy's supply through here. That should uh, cause a little bit of a cripple on, on their end. So let's actually get these two going. And hopefully that will lead to some positive news in the future. Alright, let's get the new, new submarine swifts. Alright, finally that Turkestan bit there is collapsing. As long as I can just get it back here and towards this river, I think we'll be golden. We can use our tanks to, I don't know, try to push the northern edge maybe, because this is better terrain for us. It's forest instead of mountains. It's a little bit better to fight in with tanks. Um, Mountaineers should make a nice little bit of difference and the tanks should just provide a lot of hardness to these battles. Um, Alright, sabotage resource, don't know what that entails, but that's fine. Uh, are these tanks not highly aggressive? No, they are not. Okay, they feel like they are. Alright, uh, I think the tanks have done their, their push pretty damn well. It's now time for my Mountaineers to pull in on their end. I think it's uh, I think it I think it's gonna be won by the Air Force, um, which is uh, fairly accurate regarding modern tanks. So. All right. Um. Yes, sir. Let's see what these guys can do. If I can get them to pull in towards here, it'll be golden. Doubt they can manage, because this is actually it's not that bad of terrain, so they should be okay, I guess. Um, yeah, fix these compositions already. So. Alright. Um, more attack on our fighters. Yeah, the Air Force, it's important. It's just the st Orders. stupid amount of fucking infantry that they have. That's just really crippling. I managed yes, to overrun some shit. Nice. Alright. Okay, so my troops are now so fast that we actually overrun retreating infantry. That's pretty good. Um, that might actually uh, cripple them quite a lot. Are you on... No, you're not even on aggressive. Holy shit. Um, Alright, I might actually just uh, fix this little stalemate here by... Um, Alright, actually apparently don't have an aerial control uh, support here, but I did have it over there. Just hit him a little bit across the line here. Tactical nuclear warfare is what it is at, baby. Let's get, you know, ready to rumble, I guess. Let's uh, push through these mountain regions here. Now, this is of course not a good idea regarding uh, uh, supply, but uh, I think I nuked some of my own troops here. Eh. I 
It should damage enough of their equipment that my guys can go through. Okay, let's just keep, you know, strategically looting the crap out of the enemy. There we go, that was looking a lot better. So basically everywhere that they're resisting. Let's just drop a nuke on their ass. We have the air force for it. Like, how big is my air force right now? It's about only 12k count versus a 44k count, but I think they've got 3k fighters, some heavy fighters, some tactical bombers. If I compare it to mine, I think we're fine. I think we good. It's quality over quantity. Look at that shit. Ready, sir. We have these to just get all across this river here. There we go. Get in there. Attention. From all angles, preferably. Uh, right. Looks like we're making some progress Move again. Out. Seems like nuclear warfare is the solution to all of your problems. Um, if I'm lucky, I might be able to get this cut in here. Taking aim. Uh, even though I don't have fucking su aerial uh, superiority. I have aerial superiority. It's just barely not enough. All right. Um... Let's actually build on the back here. Um, repair priority is actually pretty neat to have right now, considering I've just started tactical, technically nuking the living crap out of everybody. Um, let's get a radar station going. Let's get some anti-air support going. Let's actually build a couple more airfields so you know all the air can get into the air. Let's go. That sounded about as terrible as I think it did. Push in the back, sir. I don't want 14 here, I want the 6 to stay, the rest of them just, you know, sort off. Get on that front line. Right, even more close air support. Nice. Air support mission efficiency, air wing experience gain efficiency. Oh my god, my jets are the best. Orders. These are the best jets in the world. Alright, we managed to cross the river here, so we got just Ready. one more to go. Two more to go, sorry. Just to get through there. Let's go for a large front here. Um, oh wow, it looks like my tanks might be actually able to push through here first. Uh, and we got nuclear support here. That looks like it's going really well. Let's uh, drop a couple of them. Alright, there we go, that's one more. And that means that that entire fucking shitty pocket that we were talking about is just gone. It's gone, it's over, it's finished, the entire Persian pocket here is... It's done for! Fucking hell, that's... that's gonna be great. Oh, we can't commence it because one of these fuckers is captured. Commence it, there we go. Yeah, there's a Turkestan captured. Let's rescue an operative. We have an uh, escape artist that can... Uh, do that pretty damn well. Alright, so with that all done, let's just harass the living hell out of this entire pocket by systematically nuking every single province in here that has a unit. I still don't get why they didn't make a hotkey for nuking, because... Yeah, well, Persia did turn it... Well, Afghanistan turned into Persia, I guess, uh, or the other way around. But uh, right now, it's got to turn into a hole. We're going to flatten the area. Because um, if nothing is here, nothing can really bother me here. And I like that idea. So if you are currently in the vicinity of any of these lands, I recommend you don't. All right. Well, that would be the end of Afghanistan. Ooh, that looks good. That looks like sweet, sweet victory. Right, anyway, um, Attention. tank core over to the north can now just casually march Ready, south. I think these guys can just casually go through the Afghanistan gap, and uh, yeah, that looks like uh, ah, there's some resistance here and there, but nothing a good old nuclear strike can't fix. Actually, we don't even have shit here on the border, but probably doesn't really want to move because low everything. So let's just nuke these guys to prevent them from moving. Because what's the worst that could happen? 
Well, the worst would happen is that this pocket here gets cut off. That would be terrible, but... That is literally the worst that could happen, actually. Um, we can actually tell these guys to do this. Alright, looks like that is done. Who would have thought nuclear warfare was the answer to everything? Alright, when that is all done, I think I can just do a nuclear strike on all of that. At some point. Um, I need to find a aircraft wing, though. God, we have a lot of them. There we go, that's what I was looking for. I think I have quite a few jet bombers available. Uh, so let's uh, start by systematically bombing most of this area. I might want to move some of them a little bit more forward, actually. I, You know what? I've got all of these. I've got um, some nice airfields over here. Let's uh, move them all over there. Let's get rid of one of them. Oh, nuking in in, in Hoi 4 is, is like a waste of fucking time, to be honest. Um, can, uh, can I get the rest of you to uh, fly over there? Board, board, board. All right, um, so let's do the following. Um, that doesn't work. Can't hold shift while I'm doing that, which is a little bit annoying. I now can reselect all of them and tell them to exclusively hit military factories. Argument of the Deputy Director of Housing. I don't think I'm following. Anyway, mass bombing campaign is successful. Tanks are doing Ready. some beautiful work. As well as my Mountaineers, of course. Let's not forget that I have those guys as well. Um, there we go. Um... This is mostly actually not a bad terrain to fight in, it's just desert. Um, yeah, let's just get this all cleaned up. Um, let's get rid of the Afghan gap, basically. This, that's be... this was a lot of work just because I forgot about one province. What the hell's going on here? But they're not really willing to push through there. Get rid of them. There we go. Alright, that's that. Good. Shit's fixed. Alright. How do they make a risky move here by reorganizing all of that? Uh, I'm gonna put the... Actually, I need to check something real fast. Your have, you have a weight of 15. You have a weight of 8.1. Right. Alright, so I'm gonna put you north. And provide the push towards the uh, northern gap here. And I want to do a, I mean, a, like a proper northern push. Go. And I'm going to put you on the south. Like that. Because there's a large chunk of but mostly desert terrain up until this point. So let's see if we can make use of that. There we go. And the remainder of the army can just kind of do the generic go over there cut type push. Alright, we have good intel in China, so let's see how are they looking on equipment. 86% uh, of their army only has equipment. Ready to move. I think actually there's still some stuff trying to move, move in that province there. It's not really that great, so let's just move them. 
Uh, it's been for a chat a bit and I have an argument with the Deputy Director of Housing here at work. Man thinks he can tell me how to structure the database. Oh, that sounds sounds like fun. I always love it when, when superiors um, that are just purely from management are telling you like, Hey, this is how things are supposed to be. And you're like, no, that's, that's, that's pretty much not how it's supposed to be there, buddy. But you know, they're your manager, so you can't call them a fuck nugget. Because, you know... Apparently that's bad grace, which I really don't understand. But uh, you have my permission to uh, to fight the boss. All right, well. Well, with this China war soon over, hopefully we will. Uh, one tank? I think I did somewhere. Well, well, well. All right. Uh, I am bleeding through some of my uh, more precious resources, which is called uh, manpower, which is something China doesn't really suffer from as much as we do. Uh, I am actually gonna support the bombing campaign a little bit further. Now this should, in theory, eventually cripple them. Um, cause, uh, the bombers should, um, cause they're, they're hitting the aircraft factories. They usually tend to, in the event, uh, prevent, uh, any air from really yes, staying sir. alive. God, we got green units. It's because of the casualties and all that kind of stuff, which is rather not that great. Air attack, static anti-air defense, or interception mission efficiency. I think air attack right now has, like, a higher priority. Alright, we got a new. Uh, that's my Swift Summer Strike Masters, alright. Um, this is fine, we don't really give a who to do it yet. Because we're not really using it anyway. Uh, land Doctrine. Yeah, might as well. Alright, um, let's see. Close air support. Jet close air support. Jet. Fighters? I hope this goes well. We got our second generation jet interceptor. Oh, please tell me my fighter wings upgrade. And they're not like a separate new aircraft. No, it's telling me them it's upgrades. Good. No, they're not ready yet. I already won a battle with Monster. I did a malicious uh, compliance with achieving information offense. <laughs> That's the big king shit. Apparently, he's working with some databases before. Uh, you know, with this vast experience at the age of 28. Oh well, you know, I uh, I should have badmouth management, but I hate him. Um, but I'm also training to get into management, so I I just hate I, I hate management personnel that is considers themselves better than the people that they work with because I cause so I believe in a very simple philosophy. If you are a manager, you're trying to facilitate. Um, work for other people uh, so that they don't have to uh, deal with bureaucratic overhead that's what your purpose is as a manager in my opinion however I know a lot of managers that are just like no I am the boss so you do things as I say um, and so I've done a minor yeah exactly so that's exactly my point Luger so I I, I did my minor in um, in, uh, I did a minor in game design in, at college, uh, but I, I ended up uh, managing the project instead of uh, just doing actual work on the game. Uh, because, as it turned out, uh, I just had a lot more experience managing shit, um, and I had a lot of people that had, had like quite a lot of experience making 3D models, programming games. Well, actually, our programmers were running garbage, but that was beside the point. But there were people that had experiences that, that we, you know, we didn't have. So you put the right person at the right point, but you have a lot of bureaucratic overhead, a lot of communication between different departments, and yada, yada, yada. So that's what I facilitated. So everybody could just basically do what they were good at, and I could, you know, prevent shit from going down hill every single second, because nobody was understanding what the other person was doing. Uh, let's... Oh, crap, I can't do that. Hmm, seems their air force is concentrating a little bit more. Also, I think I need to build airfields in support. Uh, can't do that one yet. 
And let's just keep building some of these uh, lovely, lovely radar stations. You know, management, in my opinion, should always facilitate the uh, uh, so that uh, so that others can use their experience to to uh, to create the best product, and not just say like, "Hey, uh, I want you to do it this way." Unless there's a good reason for it, but usually, in my uh, experience, people that are in the field have a lot more up-to-date experience compared to you. Um, all right, Turkestan capitulated. That's a nice little hole we managed to cut there. Probably won't be able to make a lot of use of it. Uh, unless we... Nah, I don't think that's really going to make a lot of uh, difference. It just, you know, removes Turkestan from, from the borders, which is rather good. All right, that's not really necessary. I don't think we can go high enough on this one, actually. Uh, might as well build out all of these. Mm. Alright, so that's the prep. Oh, uh, that's, I guess, what happened. Um, we have not have a lot of people anymore in China, so let's, uh. I can actually select all of them, yeah. Alright, let's set up network, and why don't you start spreading some propaganda? Um, let's give my people some suicide pills. They might like it. I think he also cried since I don't have a degree of any kind. I had to go to the board to prove I knew my shit. It was my manager, someone in a similar role, the CEO, AT manager of the company at Renwood. It was a random and voted not to keep me on. I guess he didn't like some. Ah, oh, fuck sakes. Uh, work experience is more important than education at all times. Um, I come from a field where a majority of the people that work in it um, do not... Um, why am I building these? Oh, right, for the new ones. Um, do not have a formal education. My field is like four to five years old. I'm a fucking experienced designer, and that's the point of people's like, oh, you so you do UX. I'm like, yeah, that's not exactly what I'm doing, but, you know, good for you for trying. Um... But yeah, I'm pretty much used to seeing. Oh my fucking god! This is this is this is actually kind of bad, um, because this might lead to a very large pocket going in Chinese favor. I need to Ready. fix this hole here Listen and up. secure that a little bit better. Um, can I? Fuck! Why don't I have anywhere proper air superiority? I do have it here, so I might be able to just crunch through there. Alright, um... Yes, attack that. <coughs> Boom. There we go. That should maybe create a nice large little pocket here that we can, you know, empty out. Uh, database work is in the crispy old bastard field of IT. Ah, fair enough. Still. Should respect the experience people have. Uh, right. Let's nuke them. Right, let's just keep nuking everything here. If I can, cr if I can get that pocket to go, that would be great. There we go. Orders. That created a nice little pocket. Now, this might also cause them to bail out of this air zone. Nope, that didn't. Alright. Um, kind of a sad state of affairs regarding air zones, but... It looks like we might got this locked in. Um, at le well, at least we got this cut off. That's important. Um... I think I lost my tanks at some point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know what you decided to do, buddy, but I think that he just committed suicide with him. Ready to move. Yeah, it looks like it, for fuck's sake. How would you do that? Well, let's get uh, 22 of the lads in. Ready. 
Lots of attrition issues as well. It uh, looks like we uh, built that up. I don't know why we're not pushing through there. Ready, sir. Right, let's uh, let's pull this back for now. No real use in letting them die anyway. Um, right. So what the hell am I gonna do? I've got a lot of everything anyway. So what do I need? Nothing really. <laughs> uh, we're bleeding armored cars apparently, so I can actually up the armored car production a little bit. Let's get it to a little bit higher. Okay, there we go. Mm. Let's see if we can capture their cipher. Once I'm ready, I don't think we're gonna really gonna do anything because we already have it. Let's uh, let's decrypt. Uh, let's actually use it because we're capturing the cipher anyway, so we might as well make use of it. I don't know how many Chinese troops I've got stuck in this pocket here, but I think it's quite a few. Ready, sir. Um, let's send these guys to uh, clean this up. Because I think the front line otherwise will be a little bit on the thin side. So, um, let's clean the, clean the pocket out. And let's recruit another spy for the job. Let's see, they've got 80% stability, which is rather low, which I like. And their war support is, is, is decent, it's not good. So that's also pretty okay for me. Um, this is still quite ahead of time. I can get the new modern tanks, it's a nice little upgrade. Um, we're in a 9050, so I actually can get some pretty neat support upgrades as well. I think I focused a little bit too much on Air Force, but I, I still, still maintain that my air is going to be rather important. Um, let's take a look at their industry. It seems that they're no longer needing as much uh, iron as they did before. They're importing less and less. However, yeah, they're not getting any from outside sources. So that's pretty good. Um, do they have any navy left? Not really. It's completely fucked. The Air Force is still fine, but if I t take a guess, I think I'll, I'm slowly peeling away at them. Um, and I can probably quite easily get another two of these wings in. Uh, let me get them a little bit closer, actually. Flatter from here, I guess. Oh fuck, I fucked my recording again. I'll cut it again afterwards. Alright, so hit Manchuria. Wait, is Manchuria actually hostile? Yeah, it is, so. Um, that's okay. There we go. Uh, hit Manchuria and hit the Russian Far East. By now we're bombing basically every single part of uh, their uh, their uh, air zones. I mean, yeah, uh, technically their air zones, but their territories. Bombing the Russian Far East, exclusively focus on military factories, because if they don't have any equipment, it's going to be even more difficult for them to do anything about me. Um, let's get some more stuff that like that going. I could specialize my army a little bit more, I guess, if I really would want to. But for now, I think I'm, I'm fine with... Uh, and by specializing, I mean actually by um, getting rid of these and replacing them with SPGs and that kind of stuff. I'm not actually able to do that. Uh, I have the production for it. Plus, I need to redo this entirely anyway. Uh, so I think I'm actually going to do that. Alright, got some more civilian factories uh, available. There we go, keep, uh, keep an eye on that. Okay, so I don't think this 
entirely went well. Let's, I think it's fine. Alright, let's, uh, let's nuke the pocket. As you do. We want to quickly close these up. That should do that. That's that pocket closed. They seem, they, seem, they seem to have reconnected this one up. At least we still, you know, in the large scheme of things, I think we did a pretty uh, nice little clean up. Here. There we go. We got ourselves some stuff there. We're out of the kangaroos, and we're actually now in proper um, infantry fighting vehicles. A Saraken. Sarsen? Sarsen? Whatever. I think I'd care, but I don't. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get the uh, recon up. Yeah, it's just the wagons. And I think with this fight, I am gonna call it. I think I'm gonna do a joke, um, uh, conversion to Stellaris just to see what it makes of it. Um, but I think with China out of the game, we really have it done. Um, uh, before the converter starts, I'll probably do just do an annex, just to get rid of everybody else. Uh, British X-30, that sounds... Uh... <laughs> I think I accidentally released somebody as a puppet. Uh, that's their country tag, so... But yeah, I believe with, um, with this... Um, the war is basically over, um, and considering that they're still losing, like, uh, rap, uh, rap territory quite rapidly, I think I am more than fine in this place. Let's get more new logistics. Glorious Space Britannia, that probably is a portal lot for that, yes. Um, but I want to see what the, uh, what the generator gives us. Um, and that will be the end of the grand campaign. So I actually don't really know yet what I'm gonna do in return. I still still think I kind of want to do a entirely different type of stream. I don't know how popular it is with you guys, but I am. As things are, I really want to spend some more time working on some of the other stuff uh, for the channel. So uh, I still think it might be a good idea to, uh, or at least. It would be good for me to have a, a stream to focus yes, on creating stuff, um, like creating artwork, uh, stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in stuff like that, just let me know. Um, where you can just see me go and work on pixel art and stuff like that. Yeah, art streams, basically. Um, surprise, surprise, I am actually a little bit, and a little bit I mean genuinely a little bit, a bit of an artist. I am more of a designer, and I consider it separate fields to be honest. But I've dabbled in some Photoshop, and I can actually draw a little bit. And you know, you know, put on some music, uh, talk about some interesting stuff, watch me do some crap, and uh, yeah, it might be fun. I don't, I just, you know, just, just give it. I'll, I'll give it a try, and if everybody's like, you know what, this is, uh, this is not good, then we'll just accept that as is. Did I? No, oh, we have new types of naval jet gas. All right, so that's gonna replace the other stuff. So I actually need to tell this guy to stop pulling in CV bombers and CV jet gas. All right. If you're not a cute girl posing with generous cleavage, you're not gonna get any views. That's fair enough. That's definitely very true. And I, I, I have to, I have to, to put it out there I do not have even as a man have a generous cleavage I am uh, quite on the opposite end of things I spent way too much time in the gym for that or I used to spend way too much time in the gym for that I kind of have a, a bit of a bit of a COVID going on but it's not as bad as it could be but uh it's um 
So maybe if I get one of those one of those pair of fake breasts and then just put fake cleavage in, and I think the biggest problem would be that I actually have a beard. So maybe I'll just you know cut off my own face, which is probably the best idea anyway, because I really don't like to have my face in stream anyway. So just have my fake cleavage there to to pull in the the the, the, the simps, and uh, maybe that will. Uh, Lead <laughs> some stuff. I'll probably get banned within a second. <laughs> You're not a real boop streamer. I really don't know what to build though, so I am not gonna build them anything really. So I'm just gonna let the game run out. Face counts too. Shit. I have a mustache and a beard. I think that might might give it away. That I am not a girl. Probably, if I if, if I had to hazard a guess. Just have a shot of two melons wrapped in a towel. <laughs> yeah, just somewhere on a table. Just that's it. Not even. Um, I, I I like that idea. Um, all right, it's gonna be bitching along. Oh, you don't have any shit. All right, yeah, just uh, just give me a second there, buddy. Modern SPGs. There we go. No, not like that. There we go. Bam. Save it. Free civilian factories. Well, maybe get some military factories going. I don't know. You know what, maybe the simps are into a man with boobs and beards. I don't know, there's this, you know, a lot of them are into traps apparently, so, you know, I, I might be lucky and, uh... I don't know, where is this conversation going again? <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, I think this conversation just went mildly off the rails, so, uh... Let's pull back a little, just just a little. Oh, you know what? We, 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 you know what? You know what? We could actually research. Use your words. Use your words, man. We could actually get into these uh, SP rocket trucks. Um, because why the hell not? Just to double check with a simp man real quick. Yeah, that makes no sense. Simping? Oh yeah, simping makes very little sense. Um, that is uh, the magic of the internet. I, I would, I would love to be 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 subjected to the simps, but um, like I, I don't understand them. That's that's my thing where I think it goes wrong for me. Like, why would you spend just? Like thousands of dollars or euros or whatever your equivalent currency is on a woman just because she has tits. Yeah, no, it does really sound stupid. Like you know what? Even the worst thing about it is, I, I like I'm 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 even from a generation of people that's like, why are you do, why would you even pay for porn? But these these girls don't even go naked. Like what the hell? Like I don't even get OnlyFans. Just makes no sense to my primitive little brain. And I'll 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 I'll, I'll you know I'll ruin the surprise, but my brain is properly primitive. Apparently I need some AT tanks as well. Hmm. hmm. I, I love that uh, designation there. That he's from the porn mag generation. That's that's one way to qualify, I guess. Uh... <laughs> it's, uh, that's one way to just <laughs> create a distinction between people. What type of generation are you from? Are you from the porn mag? from the 
Uh, <laughs> it's better than a boomer, yeah, definitely. Still, it's kind of funny when you think about it. <laughs> to to uh, quantify your generation as a... Uh, I like to, yeah, I like to, oh shit, I just noticed a problem. Oh, there's not actually nothing there. Nothing mine, never mind, never mind, never mind. I think I'm not really gaining any territory anymore, though. Mm. Hey, my first model tank is done. Cool. Um, right. Let's uh, get some anti-tank upgrades. I actually really don't know why I'm doing this. I'd rather research that. See the first new tanks are coming in. That's uh, that's that's good shit. That is some good shit. How are we looking on airfields? Do I have enough? Um, probably, you know, create some guns platforms here to uh, help them shoot down shit. You know what I might actually fucking do? I don't build these ever, but I think I'm going to uh, build a couple of them because I just want to get rid of as much of the enemy territory as possible, so let's build some rocket stations. We'll start firing some rockets at the enemy. At the enemy. Now, I might actually at some point need to research the motorized rocket artillery, so I might as well do that right now. Combined modern arms, and we'll look at last is aviation support company recovery rate. Well, these are not really of any use to me yet because we don't have them yet. I like the idea of the air mobiles though, but we have to see how that. Uh, holy shit, that's actually pretty late stuff. Yes, sir. All right, did you get any experience? Oh yeah, you got adaptable. Oh, but you already. Wait, why? Why can't you get the expert delegator? Ooh. No, I think I... Oh, wait, I don't have the fucking points for it. Nee, 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 nee. Move out. Um, what does Adaptal does again? Uh, terrain penalty reduction. That might actually be more critical than anything else right now. Uh, I can't get a Mountaineer to go. That fucking sucks. Um, oh, wait, yes, I lost sir. a large chunk of yellow. So, I need 11 of them. Not sure how quickly pop grows in Hoi 4, but it's not a really relevant part of the game. It is, um... It is not. Uh, basically, let's just take something like, I don't know, London. Has 13 point something million people, and if we have a monthly growth uh, of 0.12%, basically. Which means there is 1.6 recruitable in that province. It's not that great, it's not that bad. It's it's just... it is. Let's put it at that. Um, I'm actually gonna unsupport these, because I actually need some command power. And how are you on 85%? So we're slowly bashing through them, but the quantitative thing here is slowly. And I want you, hello there, get adaptable to get, yeah, that's because you're not a less, 30% less of a penalty, which is probably pretty good. Improv expert is like that's also enough. genuinely really good. So let's see if we can get it. You already got adaptable, so I don't think you really need anything else. You can get adaptable. So that Order. stacks cumulatively, by the way. Um, you really haven't done shit. And you got yourselves adaptable, and you still got yourself an improv expert. Uh, Good trip, mate. Uh, got yourself some improv expert, that's rather great. Um, however, I do want this guy to get level 8 at some point. Um, and I lost some fucking shit. Another three of them, please. That's four. <sighs> Boomers just a meme speak for all people, especially when their views don't align with yours. Ah, yeah, that is definitely true, definitely true. Alright, I think I, um, I've run into a very classic Hearts of Iron problem. Shit ain't moving. Um, <laughs> Alright, let's just stop the attacks for now, because I think this is pretty dumb as things are set up. 
Um, I'm probably gonna put the armor and the other one up north here, and then on the main army here, because we're now separated by this little pool of water here, and it's a, a little bit annoying, but it, uh... We're still sinking convoys occasionally, that's pretty good. Anyway, I actually need to get my meds. You might have... Ah, I, I might have to. I'll see about how, it, how it goes. Maybe I'll create an another entirely second army group just to get that done but i have to take my medication now so i gotta eat something real fast because i actually can't take these painkillers on an empty stomach because they'll burn a hole in my stomach which sounds like utter fun so i'm just gonna quickly eat something and take my pain medication and i'll be right back it's gonna just take about a minute <laughs> 